So I think that um, we've got to still work on developing that trust and that I think one of the big and important things with these consumer engagement groups is to be responsive. And I was really, um, really encouraged to hear Delia talk about how when something is brought up by consumers, there is a response to it and a visible response. So I would like to think and um, to think about that when we're looking at evidence base, we've already seen that Paul said there's a lot of evidence around and he's not the only one that said it today. We've got to look at interactiveness and responsiveness, which part is part of that respect and trust. I think NGOs are sick of putting in submissions that are only look, looked at by the ASO3 um, because we have, very, we have very little resources available to us and our capacity to respond sometimes is very, very inhibited. So that's why I'm very glad that we've had this conversation today where I think there is a lot of goodwill from the regulators to try and make that engagement better so that the evidence that is around can be utilised better. I certainly hope that the Productivity Commission's recommendations get a Guernsey, especially a National Re um, Research Council because ACAN can't do, it, can't do all the research even though we've already had a damn good go and we're, better, we're going to move forward in that vein. So I think that's all I'd like to say at the moment. If we could come back to uh, Abel and just wonder if you see in the toolbox for a government uh, policy department and you're going to have a, a key role on future codes or laws or ways in which the telecom sector might interact with the general consumer law, uh, whether there's scope for these notions of behavioural economics or understanding of uh, some of these behavioural issues uh, as distinct from some of the more traditional code approaches, perhaps? Uh, certainly, I think the, the, the scope is certainly there. Um, uh, I, I think, Alan, um, towards the end of the last session, you perhaps encapsulated it well with your five Ts. And there are probably five, uh, five Ts we, we, we certainly, uh, as regulators and policy makers, uh, need, to, need to be uh, very conscious of. Um, Robert's suggestion about a framework, an agreed framework, for analysing these issues, I think also makes a lot of sense. One thing I would, and I think that might help avoid the submission problem, uh, because I think it would give us a much, a much, a much clearer basis on 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 our dialogue. So I'd, I'd, I'd certainly support that suggestion. My my question on that would be, um, um, to what degree could we also get industry to sign up to the same framework? Okay, and I think that's a, a, a useful point. Now, I did mention five T's, but sadly, I, I'd also mentioned the sixth T, which has emerged again, and that's this dreadful one of time. And I fear that uh, we've run out of, uh, of, of time for a conversation that could uh, readily go in this form for a lot longer. However, it can't. What it can do, though, is when we finish this particular format, uh, we can all join in um, our own conversations to follow up some of these issues uh, uh, just outside over uh, some networking drinks and I, I hope you'll uh, join me there but but before before uh, formally uh, closing today I, I really want to uh, give my thanks to a group of people who haven't been visible here today um, except in a, a background way and, and some who aren't even here uh, Maria from our office, and uh, Janine, and, and Sarah, and uh, Carisha, and, and also Teresa, who've over these last uh, couple of weeks uh, uh, put uh, many, many uh, hours into designing the program and, and arranging things here in ways that uh, I think have just been uh, uh, hugely contributory to, to what I think has been a very rich and productive session. 
Um, I'd like to also thank um, our, our presenters and, and panelists, and particularly uh, thanks to all of you for, uh, for coming along. And I'd ask you, firstly, to join me in thanking the panelists, and secondly, to join me in a drink afterwards. <laughs>